closing time at the Krusty Krab. Five, ten, twenty-five, blue applesauce. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? What? The first dime I ever made. I always keep it at the back of the register for luck. Well, I've never seen it. Hmm. Are you prepared to say that with your hand on a stack of interpretive dance quarterlies? Of course I'm... <laughs> what are you saying? One, you stole it. Two, you stole it. Or three, you stole it! I didn't take your precious dime! Show me your tentacles. <laughs> what? I quit! I'm out of here. Squidward, you're making a big mistake! Mistake? Ha! The only mistake I ever made was wasting my life at the Krusty Krab. Well, I guess I can't stop you. If you ever get in trouble, come find me. I'll take care of you. Because you and me, we're like brothers. Only closer. SpongeBob, I don't need your help. I am ready to unlock my potential. I can become anything I set my mind to. I could be a football player, or a king, or a spaceman. Next time you see me, this town will be eating out of the palm of my hand. Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? Uh, I, uh... It's me, SpongeBob. We used to work together. So, where you living these days? Squidward tentacles? Yes? Sign here, please. Uh, nowhere. I'm a loser! I've lost my job, my home, everything! Oh! There, there. You can come live with me. Here you go, Squidward. You sleep in my bed. Okay, but just till I get a job. One day, two days tops. Nonsense. You stay as long as you need to. Uh, good night, Gary. SpongeBob, can I get a glass of water? Thank you. Good night. SpongeBob, can I get some more blankets? Here you go. Thank you. SpongeBob, you forgot to turn out the light. Good night. Gary, Squidward is not a freeloader, and he would never take advantage of me. Three weeks later. He's just having a hard time getting his confidence back. Many months later. I'm sure he's close to a breakthrough. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. <laughs> I know he still isn't looking for work! Don't rub it in! SpongeBob, where's my lemonade? And why aren't you in uniform? It's about time you got here! Four o'clock, time for my stories. Hurry up, they won't hold the show while you laze around. Hey, where you going? To my job! I'm not some lazy, inconsiderate jerk who lays in bed all day. Say, where can I get one of these jobs? Oh, they're everywhere, especially if you're green and have six tentacles. Thanks. I'm going to go look for one so I can stop mooching off my friends and they can get back to their lives. This isn't my show. SpongeBob, the remote control's broken. Get over here and fix it. I got a better idea. Why don't I call someone whose job it is to fix it? Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! What are you saying? Listen, you crustaceous cheapskates! Squidward's been living in my house driving me crazy! And you're not gonna hire him back all because of a stupid dime! What's that? <gasps> me first dime! This is a dime? I've been in business a long time, boy. So, if Squidward never stole the dime, he can come back to work, right? Aye, lad. Just let the dime and me have our privacy. It's all water under the bridge now. I agree, sir. After all, I'm sure you didn't mean to misplace me dime. What the? 
What are you saying? Are you accusing me of something? Well, the way I see it, there are three possibilities. One, you put the dime in me pants. Two, you put the dime in me pants. Or three, you put the dime in me pants! <laughs>